Hi, I'm Sarah, the main character from the book Bread Givers by Enzia Yazerska, and this is my life. As a young girl, I moved from Poland to, to New York in U the United States. We lived in a small apartment in Manhattan in the Lower East Side. My mother, my father, and my three sisters, Bessie, Fania, and Masa, and I all lived in this small apartment. My father devoted his life to studying the Torah, and my mother cooked, so making money was up to my three sisters and I. One day, my father got in a fight with the landlady because we didn't have enough money and went to jail. I tried to sell herring to help out the family to make some money. My father got out of jail with no charges and each of my sisters had a boyfriend that they wanted to marry. But for each one of them, my father denied, saying that he, they did not meet his standards. My father arranged marriages for my three sisters because at that point he just wanted them out of the house. For Beth, Bessie, father got money from the fishmonger for arranging their marriage because he was desperate for a wife. My father used this money to go buy a grocery store for $400 in New Jersey. However, this grocery store didn't have any usable merchandise in it. They got scammed, and my father and I got in an argument. I left to go to New York City to pursue my... go back to New York City and pursue my dream of becoming a teacher at college. I got my degree, and... I won $1,000 from an essay writing contest, and I began my new life teaching at a school in New York. Just after I started teaching, my mom grew ill. Her wish to me was that sh I would take care of father. Just a month after mother died, father married a woman named Miss Feinstein. My three sisters and I thought this was very disrespectful because it had not been long that mother was dead. My three sisters and I stopped talking to father and Miss Feinstein because of this. One day, the principal at the school I was working at had a letter and wanted to talk to me. The letter was from Miss Feinstein. She was begging that I gave her and father money because they were starving. This letter made me and Hugo, the principal, much closer, and we started dating. However, the letter also made me remember my mom's wish to take care of father. I visited father and he was extremely ill. I decided that I will help I would help care for him. Now Hugo, father and I are living together. I don't teach as much because I'm taking care of father more, but I still do teach part time. 